Hello, I'm Dan Gibson and welcome to another video in the series uh, Talking with Dan Gibson. In this video we want to look a bit at a new website that I've just uh, completed. Well, it'll never be completed because I'm always adding new things. But uh, this website started in the year uh, 2000 and we've now reached uh, 2020. So uh, it's been around for about 20 years but I've totally reworked the website. And uh, this has been an ongoing project over the last months. If you've wondered why I haven't been making as many videos as I used to, I have been concentrating on the website and there are several reasons for this. I want to spend the majority of my time uh, working on the website and through the website. I will still be making YouTube videos and you will find them here on this channel. But uh, if you want to go on and look at any more of the research that I've done or double check things, or if you want to see the videos in the correct order, uh, you will find them all on the website. So the website is called Nabatea.net. And if you're wondering how do I spell it, it's there on the screen. Notice that it is every second letter is the letter A. So it is N-A-B-A. T A E A dot net. And uh, if you want to contact me, the best way is to go to the website and then uh, on the website find the an appropriate page uh, that is similar to the topic you want to talk about or ask about. And then uh, make a, a comment at the bottom of the screen. And all of the comments as they come up appear on my computer. I have a page and every day I can check what comments were made and then I can go back and answer them if they're addressed to me and if people are, are looking for information. And the reason I'm doing this, it's, it's putting your questions in public, is because many times I get emails and I have been getting lots of emails and many of them uh, would be good to have in public so I don't have to keep Keep answering the same question over and over again. And so uh, please, if possible, use the Nabatea.net website and use the comments there. I monitor those comments. I do not monitor the YouTube videos, uh, the comments that are there. And in fact, I've turned off a lot of the comments that are there simply because uh, people are making all kinds of comments and statements. And I would prefer if, uh, if we could talk uh, and chat uh, through the comment section and uh, you can talk to each other as well. And uh, that's fine. It's very similar to the kind of thing you would find on YouTube. Now, Nabatea.net, uh, we're going to go over. I'm going to take you through the website a little bit because you've, it's helpful to understand the structure of the website. The challenge thing thing with this website is there are over 900 pages and I imagine that uh, in short order within this next year there will be over 100 different uh, web pages on this site and it will continue to grow. And uh, that uh, is a challenge when it comes to making menus and how do you find what you're looking for. So I've been working on menus over the last while. So what we're going to do is we're going to go over to the website and I'll take you through it and let you have a look. So uh, here we go. Now the, remember the, the idea of the website is to help you find the information you're looking for. So here it is, Nabatea.net. And uh, you will notice here that uh, it's got uh, five sections, explore, cinema, travel, shop, and read. That's at the very top. And uh, the first section is called explore. And uh, there are over 450 pages in the explore section. This is the history of the Nabataeans. Who were they? What made them great? And so forth. So uh, under history, we have 24 different articles. And if you click on that, uh, the history, up it comes. And there you can see uh, all these different articles that you can read. Um, we'll go back here. Under culture, there are 17 articles. Travel and trade of 25. Navigation and sailing are six. Uh, the city of Petra, there's 32 different pages there you can look at. Madat and Saleh down in Saudi, there's five different pages there. Some of these are major pages as you go through them. 
Uh, there's uh, a, one, a collective uh, uh, thing that I've put together here just called Other Cities and Sites. And there's now, as you can see, 202 different web pages of other cities in Saudi Arabia and in Jordan and uh, across the Middle East. And so you can have a look at that. Many of those pages are referenced in other pages, but that's the master list. Uh, I've got a section on biblical studies for anyone who's interested in some of, of that. And then I've got uh, Roman Arabia. There are seven articles. There's the founding of Islam. And this is a, the area that many people are interested in. And so there are 47 articles that deal with the founding of Islam. And then there's the Ottoman. I've got just four articles there dealing with the Ottoman Empire. So there's lots of different articles and hopefully I'll be adding more as we go along. Now the new section for this website is called Watch and it's the Nabatea.net Cinema. And so here I've tried to put all the different videos together. And so if, let's just click on that and go to the cinema. And here you will see that uh, there's different sections. So the Sacred City in multiple languages, there are 16 different languages here that uh, you can watch the video in. And we may, may be adding some more as we go along. Archaeology in Islam has uh, 28 uh, videos in it in the series and we'll be adding more as we need to uh, go along. So that's Archaeology in Islam. You can, uh, there's the question and answer videos. There's 12 videos under that. Answering critics, there are 17 videos. Now remember, not all of these are videos that I have made. So under answering critics, let's just click on that. You will see here I'm dealing with Dr. King. I have six, but then I have some others that other people have made dealing with the same topic. And so here you'll see Al Fadi, who uh, did a bunch of videos here and uh, talking about these and I, I've included these because they're discussing uh, the same material that I was discussing. Talking with Dan Gibson, there's 19 videos here. This video will be number 20, it will go underneath that. I have some videos on biblical studies. There's four different sections underneath that uh, that I will be adding videos to. And uh, this is particularly for people who are Christians who are interested. So there's biblical history, there's different Bible topics, there's book by book through the Bible, looking at what are in the different books. And there's some chronological Bible reading. Those uh, who are interested, there's, uh, it's a very good uh, series. Each of these, as you go through, also have, uh, there's the reading, if you want to read through the Bible preview video, there's hard questions. And so, uh, this goes through uh, different hard questions with each week's uh, videos uh, there. And so there's questions here like, who did Cain marry? Are there giants? Well, were there giants on earth? Who were the sons of God and the daughters of man? And uh, can God be sorry? Just some hard questions and then a review. And this goes through every week. And so there's 52 weeks to read through the entire Bible from top to bottom and a guide there to help. So that's for Christians who are looking for uh, some uh, something that's helpful. Then I've got uh, the Kibla story and we did uh, seven videos in that series and uh, you can find those there in order. And then other interesting videos. I've got 20 different videos that I put here. These are just a collection of things that I found kind of interesting. And so some of them are, uh, here's Islam, the untold story. If you're looking for Tom Holland's videos, I'd like to see that it's there. There's uh, some different things on uh, China and Rome. Uh, you'll see different topics, uh, some on archeology, span just different things as we go through. These are videos I found interesting and I just thought you might find them interesting as well. The reason I've put uh, all these things together, uh, for instance, here's archeology span and Islam is that there are uh, 28 videos. If you go on YouTube, it's very hard to find the videos all in order. But here you'll find uh, videos one, two, all the way down in order right to the bottom. And here's the latest one in archeology span and Islam that I've made. And uh, you can click on it and then you can watch that video. You can just click on it and the video will start or it should start. There you go. I've got the volume turned down so you um, uh, you can watch it at home. There's some description here. And of course, you can always sign in and make comments. We're going to talk about comments 
in just a minute. So there's all the videos in order. Now I want to show you something else. Well, we'll get there as we look down this uh, uh, video. I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's go over to the travel section. We'll go back to Nabatea.net, explore, watch. Underneath here, it's called travel. And this is traveling the ancient, uh, or not ancient, the old Hejaz Railway. This was built by the Ottomans. And uh, there's a railway that went from Damascus down to uh, to Medina and all along that uh, railway there are different uh, stops and so I've got different articles you can read different articles on the history and the 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 distances between them and the people who are involved in making this part of the website um, you can travel the uh, the Hejaz railway so here you start in Damascus and as we go down we can visit every a station or all the main stations all the way down and what's neat about this is as you go and visit a station you will find that uh, in front of every station there are pictures of the steam trains that are going down so there's lots of, of different uh, trains you can look at if you're into into trains and into the history of the Hejaz railway and so the travel section we've got uh, eight articles there's 78 stops between Damascus and um, uh, Medina. There are uh, some uh, pictures here. I've got pictures of the old railway and uh, they're all in collections. You can click on them and you can see black and white photos. You can uh, look at them. That's not a good one, it's a small one. Let's see what works there. So then you can look, there's a, 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 a a locomotive that has uh, flipped over and now they've set it back up you can see it's all smashed up and uh, this is from 1947 so lots and lots and lots of different pictures from back down through history so that's uh, if you want to travel the the railway you can go there and then there's other Middle Eastern railways there's 53 different pages under this there's spur lines into Lebanon, there's some in Palestine and down in the Negev, and a lot of this people have been sending to me as they see this, oh you don't have this picture, would you like that picture? So most of this is pictures allowing you to travel. Now uh, go back to the main menu, slide down, there is also shop and this is a, a small store that we have here, so I've got history books and uh, books about Islam and uh, uh, books about learning language and uh, a couple children's books, some games. These are print and play games. You, you, they're PDF files that you can print out on your computer and then uh, you can uh, play them at home. There's some Christian uh, books there for Christians who are interested in some Bible topics. And uh, there's some fiction, slowly we'll be posting some fiction. A couple people have sent me uh, some books that are, are fiction books or there are links to books that have, may have something to do with Nabataeans or Petra or something like that. And uh, so that's the, the shop section. The last one is called Read and this is the Nabatea Library. I am in the process of putting this library on the internet. And uh, there's a challenge here is that I have a lot of uh, PDF files in my, uh, in my library. Uh, last I looked it was well over 20,000 different uh, PDF files. I'm trying to select some and put the, the appropriate ones in the Nabatea library. I hope to get this online sometime in this next year. Uh, and it, uh, it will be a select library for uh, for library members only. This is not just members of the general website, but people who specifically ask and uh, I give permission to it. So it's for a select group of academics who may be looking for certain resources and can't find them that I have, then uh, it's here. Some of these books are, or many of these books are copyrighted and I'm not giving them away. I'm not um, passing them out to other people. I respect copyright laws. Some of them are my own books that I've that I've written. And so um, I just want to make this available to a few friends. Uh, this is not uh, completed yet. It's under construction. It's going to be a while before 
all of these uh, books get in here and I actually I'm still trying to figure out how to do this so uh, I'm not just giving books away now there's some other things here you should look at uh, you'll see at the bottom of the page about us who are we here's information on copyright and on contact here's terms of use and if you uh, become a, a member of this website we you agree to these terms of use there's our our uh, comment our policy on uh, cookies and adverts a little bit about membership and some menu things here at the bottom at the very top you will notice on the right there is a, a login and this is where you can click on it and you can either sign in or you can sign up and become a member it's it's very much like um uh, like YouTube in which you can just uh, become a member don't give us your personal information make up a username and a password that's all you need to get in and uh, and your email address and uh, once you uh, create uh, your uh, your username and your password you send that uh, you click to, uh, to become a member it will send you an email I, I don't see that email address I don't have access to it the system automatically sends a, a quick little message to to your email address with a number and so you enter that number in, and then you are a member and you don't have to ever become a member again so you can become a member and then you can uh, you can um, make comments in different articles so we're going to go to founding of Islam in a few minutes uh, and we will we can look at if you uh, want to make a comment on something um, over here is a little question mark this is a, a magnifying glass this is if you want to search and so this search is just this website so say you you maybe you said oh, I remember I read something about elephants well so let's see how if this works elephant and we push enter and there we go elephants in the Nabataeans but you'll also find the uh, the others the elephant and the Nabataeans there's uh, Abraha and the elephant uh, there's uh, now notice there's two things here there's the video and there's the video text we're going to do that in just a minute there is uh, here a port uh, in the city and that's where they talk about elephants and in Gaza mentions it and who are the traders and so forth is Zimbabwe I have a mistake there I have to figure out what's wrong with that Nabataeans in Africa uh, and then uh, there's the different videos where we mention the word elephant so all of these things uh, you can you can search for maybe you say you said something about Nabataean cement and uh, give it a minute the history of concrete water collection Job's tomb Humayma different ones of these pop up with the uh, where cement is mentioned notice we're still working on getting the bugs out of the website but remember there are 900 web pages here so it's a bit of a challenge to get them all in order so let's go down and look at one of the sections that's very popular and well uh, check it out I better zip down here and that is the founding of Islam now the most popular one is this Qibla tool um, this is the uh, the Qibla tool and uh, you can see I, I chose Petra here are the mosques that point to Petra and uh, there they are you can look at them you can click on any one of these there's uh, Palmyra and so it pops up in blue you can see the different directions here and they're they're down here you can turn those on and off uh, which ones are there so we can uh, actually we could just double click on that uh, dot is supposed to maybe I'll double click on Palmyra there we go so that zooms in and you can see there's the amphitheater and there's a large temple and so forth but we zoom in and we can see there is the actual mosque that is there uh, you can see the different options of what kibbles could be the kibble of this mosque is the blue line you can uh, learn about the mosque here on the right if you want more information you double click on that and up comes the page on Palmyra the central mosque and uh, you can can see just different uh, things that we've done there's maps and charts and then there's photos 
of it and a page that uh, that mentions what's all here so this is uh takes you through you can visit all of these different mosques that are here so that was just petra if i want the between mosques there they are and uh, what is challenging about this is that uh, uh, there are so many of them so there are 28 right now in the database there are 28 between mosques there are 35 mosques that face petra there are 27 mosques that are parallel there are 16 mosques that face mecca and there's 34 mosques i can just pull up the unknown and uh, these are ones that we cannot tell because they are modern buildings so if we go to the mosque of the prophet uh, in uh, in medina you will see that this is a huge massive modern building the original building has been destroyed and so it's called unknown because there's no way we can tell what the original Qibla direction was so there are 134 different mosques in this database almost all of them are from the first two centuries of Islam so you can check through and see all of these different uh, uh, thing uh, these different Qiblas that are here now notice I've got some articles down below and then we start with um, these are those are papers and not all of them are mine here's another paper here by Dr. Shum who did, did a study up on uh, on the different Qibla directions then uh, we have uh, the text of the different videos so here's the Petra mosques video so if you're looking at um, uh, archaeology in Islam and you see boy I'd sure like to have the text of that video this is the text of the video and you'll find them here under uh, early Islamic uh, history and uh, you can go down and there's the text of the video not all the pictures are in but many of them and that's the text and then there's a bibliography at the bottom so you can see what books I used on the right of course are other articles and uh, guidelines and suggestions of what you might want to see just as you might see on uh, on YouTube so um, there we have the different uh, places of interest now so the film scripts are here as well so not that's uh, those are uh, archaeology and Islam down here is uh, question and answer and here are the question and answer videos as well so question and answer and archaeology and Islam we have the scripts for the videos uh, on the site as well so uh, you can go through and you can uh, find uh, uh, what you're looking for it's here and also you can make comments and in the comment section at the bottom and I hope over this next year that more comments will be made people will log in be brave make a comment say something uh, and uh, I'm happy to interact you can interact with other people as well who are looking at the site so there you go this is the Nabatia website we've taken you through it 900 pages you can get lost in there and you can ask questions the I have a, a little page that well, every day I will check it and anybody makes a comment I can read their comment I can also delete the comment because if you're making comments that are derogatory or putting people down or you, you've all read these kinds of things on YouTube I have the option and uh, if I have uh, somebody helping me we can go through it if it's a problem and we can delete now when we delete I can delete the comment I can also delete the user and he will be barred from coming back onto the website so um, it's a challenge to put things out in public and to try to have people act nicely and correctly but I would like to as much as possible be available and the way to reach me is through the website so that's nabatia.net thank you for uh, listening to all of this and have fun going through the website I'm Dan Gibson and this has been another video in the series talking with Dan Gibson